I'm really hoping to answer all of the castor oil pack questions, all the castor oil questions. So let's just get started from head to toe. First, the castor oil. It needs to be organic, hexane free, cold pressed, preferably in a glass bottle. But if it comes in a plastic bottle and it meets all those other requirements, then just transfer it to a glass bottle. You'll be fine. There is black castor oil and that is specifically for hair growth. Now you can use either the regular castor oil or the black castor oil for this. Now to apply for regrowth, you would just apply directly to your scalp where you want things to regrow. You can apply to your eyebrows and your lash line. You can also use castor oil directly on your temples for a migraine. And of course, castor oil is amazing for acne and wrinkles. I have other videos on that. You can use it on your ears if you get those little hard bumps from your earrings. And of course you can do thyroid packs. I have videos on that, but definitely do your own research. So as far as the actual pack, we have options. There's actual packs that you can buy that go in specific places. So I have that. There's also these organic baby flannel wipes that I love. I have videos on that. And then of course my latest favorite is breast milk pads. These have become just amazing. Whichever pack you decide, you want to pre-soak it. So depending on how big the pack is or how big the area is, you want to start with about a tablespoon of castor oil and pre-soak your pad. Now, the reason why you want to use a pad and not just apply it to your body, you want to do that too, is because you want that extra oil in the pad to penetrate deep into the area. Wherever you're trying to treat, you do want that pad. Then you want a barrier to go on top of that. So some of them, the breast milk pads, they already have their own. This one definitely needs a barrier, um, either saran wrap or uh, a waxed paper and then this one has its own barrier on the back so just but be careful with with any of these packs you definitely want extra towels and whatnot if you have started rubbing it into your eyes at night I was originally using a um, fabric to do that and I agree with all of you guys there's no reason to so I just took a spice bottle and it has these holes and I just put two fingers over the top and that's like just the perfect amount and then I've just been massaging it into my eyes brows and lashes it's good for eyesight cataracts and floaters and I have to say my floaters have seriously gotten better I am not even messing with you guys and so I've been doing it that way at night for treating my breast cysts okay first you want to make sure that your bralettes and your underwear whatever you choose you want them to be organic I do have everything in my Amazon storefront and yes I make a little commission but you guys it's all there organized so go check it out regardless <laughs> okay I'm using these awesome breast milk pads in my bra here at every night and I just place them right in now just as of last night I have started to see some castor oil leakage so I'm just gonna take my extra bralette and just go ahead and, and double it up so I don't get any leakage into my shirt same with down here, I'm using the breast milk pads soaked and I'm putting one here on my fibroid tumor. I'm putting one on my bladder and then I'm actually going ahead and putting one right on my hip here. And then to protect my clothing, I'm gonna take one of my organic uh, flannels. I'm just putting that flannel, that flannel burp cloth um, or baby wipe, whatever it is, I'm putting that in between the pack and my underwear just to keep some more protection so it doesn't get onto my jammies. I actually don't care, but if you do care about your jammies, it's great to use all these extra things. Now, once you get your packs in place, you wanna do some sort of heating element. I was doing a heating pad and then of course people were like, oh, what about the EMFGs or whatever? And so now I am doing a hot water bottle. Again, everything's in my Amazon storefront. And you wanna let that sit on there for at least two hours. I do this and this overnight and sometimes I use a heating pad and sometimes I don't. I'm applying more oil to each pad every other night or so and you'll be able to tell how much oil is in there. When you wake up in the morning, everything has just like absorbed in and everything just feels soft and it really is so lovely. The only time you don't wanna do um, castor oil packs is when you are menstruating. Of course, if you're pregnant and breastfeeding, you can't do anything, but you know, definitely just use your best judgment when it comes to like aches and pains. I would totally use a castor oil pack on a sore joint, but maybe not doing any sort of detoxing if you're breastfeeding or pregnant. Moving down the body, you can use castor oil for any aches and pains, knee joints, um, definitely for arthritis, for any sort of pain, your ankles, it's really good for your feet. It's really good for if you have like a fungus in your toe or anything like that. I mean, there's just like the benefits of castor oil are are just endless. How long you use castor oil, it totally depends on what you're trying to fix, right? So I have cysts in my breast and a big old fibroid tumor I've had for 18 years. That's gonna take a while, I'm assuming. I'm going at least six months until my next exam. When you have like an injury or whatnot, like when my kids have injuries, I literally put it on for like a day, you know, until the injury is feeling better and then you're done. So it just totally depends, but consistency is key. With anything, you guys, consistency. It took a while for these things to get there. So, you know, consistency is key and really good self-talk is like a must. I have a video on how to wash your castor oil packs. Essentially, it's just 10 minutes on the stove top with baking soda. You can wash your castor oil packs anywhere around 25 times of use. And then how to store them. I took out the wax paper to store in between my breast milk pads and I'm obviously just storing them front, you know, front to front or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna store them like this, put them in a pile and then put them in my mason jar. And then same with the fabrics, put them in a mason jar to store.
When it comes to things like castor oil, it's just one of those things where I would not hesitate to give it a try. It's definitely not going to hurt any situation. Do your own research on things like this, but personally, I would love to give things a try because why not? And I can't stress enough, I literally did get everything on Amazon. I mean, everything you see here, it is in my Amazon storefront because it's what I use because it's just so simple to get it on Amazon. I have multiple options if things get sold out. So I just really hope, I love everyone is like on this journey with me. I'm like, we are gonna rock it, I just know it. So thank you so much, thank you for the comments. Thank you for everything, I love it. Everything you need is in my Amazon storefront and seriously, check out my castor oil love video.